Here we go. Hey guys, before we get into this video, for the past month or so on my JFish LED account, I've been without a club because I took a break from both this game and from my personal YouTube channel. But I think I'm ready to join a club again and get back into it. And so a few of you guys have already tried to recruit me to your club. But if you would like to, please send an email to jfish.contact at gmail.com. If you've already reached out, please reach out again via my email. I will only look at my email because it's hard to keep track of all the other social platforms and stuff. And it just gets confusing for me. And so I'm planning on choosing a club to join here in the next week or so. And with that said, let's go ahead and get into this. All right, guys, welcome back to some more MLB 9 Innings 23. And if you haven't already, go ahead and give my most recent pack opening video a watch. It was absolutely crazy. On this account, we pulled three team SIGs in one pack opening video. It was nuts. We pulled Will Smith 21 from a normal SIG pack, Tyler Anderson 22 from a special SIG pack, and then we got Corey Seager 20. From our TSS craft pack, we ended the TSS craft curse. We always got trash cards from it or dupes. We finally got something good. And so currently what we're going to be doing in this video is working on the Corey Seager 20. We're going to upgrade him, train him. Then we're going to GI him to diamond, black diamond him. And then we're going to use some premium skill change ticket. And if we have to, a legend change ticket as well. And so pretty much what we needed was a shortstop, second baseman, or a bullpen guy from the TSS craft pack. We obviously got Corey Seager 20. Um, Will Smith, don't know what I'm going to do with him because we have Grandal at catcher and then Piazza, the other catcher, at DH. So I don't know what I'm going to do with Will Smith. I might craft him. I might wait and eventually put him on the bench and GI him when I get to that point. And then Anderson's not going to make it at the rotation. But it's funny. We already have Corey Seager 20 as normal diamond at shortstop. And today we're just going to be upgrading him to the SIG version. And then we'll finally have that need done. And Machado 18 really is no longer a need anymore. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Okay, so let's start out by trying to upgrade my Corey Seager 20 SIG. And so we kind of have a shortage of Corey Seegers. I don't know if we'll be able to get it done. We might have to use some upgrade tickets. We only have 18 Corey Seager cards and we have four diamonds. So we might have to use one upgrade ticket. I don't know if this is going to cut it. I'm just being sarcastic, guys. I, I didn't realize I had 18 Corey Seegers in my inventory. I was like, I've been trying to get this guy for so long and I finally got his 20 year. I got his 19 a while back. And uh, that card's pretty trash, but there we go. That's successful. So technically, we don't have to use upgrade tickets now because uh, we already got him to level 12, and there's four diamonds. So I mean, we're chilling right now. We're chilling. We might not even have to use the diamonds, and I might just use those as special train on them as well. So that's a success right there. Cool. Can we get three in a row for upgrades? Are we gonna even have to use the gold? It's not even looking like we're gonna have to use the gold today. <laughs> three in a row. We still have five silvers left. Can we get this done with all silvers? That's the goal. If we can do it with all silvers, that would be incredible. All right, so four in a row, four silvers, and we only got one more level left. <laughs> I guess we'll just use all the other cards for, for, for special train, like I said. This is for five in a row. Can we do it? Come on. Five straight successes. Ah, and they had to ruin it. Come on, man. Well, we still have three more chances to get it done with all silver cards. So you know what? Let's see, come on. There we go. So we have two silvers left. It took six silver cards to get them to 20. We have four diamonds that I guess we'll use a special train now because I'm never going to get a better Seager, at least Dodgers Seager. So, um, all right. And we had, we didn't touch a gold. Um, <laughs> we still have 12 Seagers left. But you know what? I'm glad we didn't have to use any upgrade tickets. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and train them now. So in terms of training this Corey Seager Sig, our goal is going to be to get power number one I number two in contact three. We're gonna try and go hard in the paint on power and I. We're really gonna find a train that has a lot of I because we need to offset that. It's only at 68. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and get a train that I like through 17 and then we'll go ahead and GI him. And um, then Black Diamond, I'm trying to get some skills and then we'll go from there. Four hours later. All right guys, so I'm back. And after almost four hours and taking my whole night from me, I finally got a train through level 17 on this Corey Seager 20 SIG. Um, I think he took over 300 level reset tickets. I don't know the exact number I started at, but I had 300 something. I'm down to 64. You guys can do the math. And he took almost 9 million points. I had 35 something million points when I started. Now I have 26 million. And I can officially say this card is more stubborn than Prime Kenley Jansen. If you guys get that reference, you guys are true OGs. And when I tell you guys, I have never been so determined to get something done in my life. I'm not kidding. I was not going to bed without finishing this train and recording this video 
or I was going to run out of level reset tickets and I was going to have to go to bed because I couldn't reset anymore. There was going to be no in between. I was not taking no for an answer. And we finally got an ideal train, in my opinion, nine contact, 15 power, 13 I, 11 to the right. It's exactly what I wanted. And now I can finally go ahead and GI him to a diamond, probably use some great increased reset tickets because we're probably going to get cheeked by the GI. But we're going to black diamond him and we're going to get bad ball hitter. I've never gotten it before on this account. We're going to get it. We have Pioneer and four other guys. We're getting bad ball hitter on this one in this video. Let's do it. Okay, and so since this card is currently a silver, I say this every single time I GI someone, whether it's on the Reds account or this one, make sure you make them a gold before you use the GI because it's not guaranteed to be a diamond if you do it when it's a silver. Please don't make this mistake. Please make sure you make them a gold and then use the GI because then they are guaranteed to go to a diamond. I've seen too many people do it. I say this every time. You guys are probably like, Jay, shut up. You say this every time. I'm just trying to warn you guys. I've seen too many people make the mistake. And now we can go ahead and use that GI since he is a gold. Go ahead and switch this. Boom. Such a pain in my butt this card has been, but it's so worth it. And I'm just, I can't believe we pulled him. And there we go. Let's see what GI gets. Ooh. Okay, we don't have to use a great increase reset ticket. He went to a 74. I'll take that. All right, bad ball hitter up next after we make him a black diamond too, and we'll be going to bed. I'll be able to sleep well tonight. Ooh, yeah. And so guys, I've been hoarding black diamond pieces for a while. We have 393 black diamond pieces, so I could technically do two SIGs and have like 73 left over because it's 160 per SIG. So let's do this thing. Like I said, I am tired. It is late when I'm recording this now. I am so happy to be done with that train. I... I literally thought there was no light at the end of the tunnel at one point. I mean, there was one point to where I had 10 to the right at level 16, two and a half hours in. I thought there's no way this train is not going to be done. There's no way we get through to the right, and we got through to the right. And uh, But I persevered through it. I endured, and there he is. That's a beautiful card. Look at that GI to power. Goodness gracious. And now that he's a black diamond... Premium skill change tickets. And if those don't work, we got a legend skill change ticket. We're guaranteed a legend skill. Let's do this thing, baby. So we got seven premium skill change tickets. We have 430 out of 500 premium skill change mileage. 500 gets the legend skill change ticket. So we're guaranteed to get that. So we're getting a legend skill, Seager. Let's do this thing. Don't make me have to use the legend skill change ticket. That would be nice if you don't make me do that. Um, and I'm just going to roll on this set. Doesn't matter. First one. Come on, baby. Legend skill first one. Make up for that training session, baby. Uh, okay. Attempt number two. How long will it take? All right. I guess I'd rather have this set, yeah. It's late. My eyes are getting dry. I have the fan on full speed because this PC has been going for a solid four hours trying to get this train. Come on. Third time a charm. Third time's a charm. Come on, please. No. Corey. Come on, man. Not only am I feeling a bad ball hitter set coming, I'm feeling a high level bad ball hitter set too, where the third skill is at least level four. I'm telling you, man, I just feel it. I feel it in my veins. And of course, we roll through the three with pointless gold skills. That's what I love to see, baby. Yes, sir. We got three more of these bad boys left. Don't make me use the legend skill change ticket. I feel like he's going to, but don't make me do it. We got two more, Corey. I trust in you, man. Actually, I'm losing trust in you, man. I'm losing trust. That's all fool's gold right there. I don't like that. I don't like that. This is the last chance before the legend skill change ticket. Can we get last premium skill change ticket luck? Let's find out. Corey, come on, baby. All right. I should have known you were going to force me to use the legend skill change tickets. It's all good, though. It's all good. Here comes bad ball hitter, baby. So after we get this bad ball hitter set on Corey Seager, we will use some blues and greens probably on him as well, but we'll have one of each. But there should be more in the store here really soon. And we'll do a separate video on that because there's other guys like T Ant and Grindall that I have to use blues and greens on. But here we go. Um, it's nice to finally get bad ball hitter. Um, it's It's been a long time coming, but here we go, baby. Here we go. Okay, so there are multiple ways we could finish this train with amp tickets, but what I'm going to do is plus two contact, plus three power, and plus four I, which means a train when said and done. We plus 11 contact, plus 18 power, and plus 17 I. 
which means power will be number one, I will be number two, contact will be number three. There's other ways you could do it. You guys might disagree, but it doesn't make that much of a difference. So let's do plus two contact, plus one I to start, and we'll do a plus three I and plus three power. So we have any of those here, and I don't know if we do. I think I just scrolled past it. Yeah, we do. Right there. So there's the plus two contact, and we'll get plus one I, and then plus three power, plus three I, and this train will be done. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. There we go. Let's go ahead and do the power real quick. Get that to 18. All right, and let's do a plus three I, and then we are done with this train, and then we'll special train a little bit, I guess, because I have so many cards to use, and we'll see how close we can get him to level 10. There we go. He's done. He's done. There's his train. And we can go ahead and special train them. Now we just got to get a set. I'm not wanting to stick with Contact Master, especially with how high power this card is. But like I said, we'll try and roll Bad Ball Header down the road, hopefully. Going into this special training, I think we'll be able to at least get him to level 6. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not positive. I'm thinking we should have enough, though. So first of all, let's just auto-select everyone that's not on my team. So that'll give him a 3 immediately. I like that. I like that. All right, so level three, that gives them what? Plus four power, plus two I, okay. Let's keep it going, and that will get him to level four. All right, we are going to use these team players because there's no use for them, in my opinion. So got plus two I right there. So looking at it, yeah, all these cards that I have out, I really don't care. I know I have a Kershaw right there, and I could eventually get 16. I have probably more than 20 Kershaws. I probably have more Kershaws than I had Seegers. Everyone else here is fair game, even though they're team players. I don't care. Boom. That'll get into level five. And we still have the special training XP. Um, so let's go ahead and use those guys. So he'll definitely get to level six, no doubt, if my game decides to unfreeze. All right. I thought my game froze for good, but thankfully it didn't. Plus two power. And I think we'll at least get to level seven. Maybe higher than that. So let's go ahead and auto-select all the special training XP. That'll get him to level six for sure. And we still have lots of gold after that. So this will get the gold skills, the diamond, but we don't have gold skills yet. So, all right, continue choosing these and that will get us to level nine. So with everything we have right here, he will be at level nine, really close to level 10. So I, you know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. That means he gets all of his extra boost to the stats. He'll get plus 12 power, plus 10 I and plus four contact. There we go. It's looking good and then um i believe once we get into level 10 we'll get the level 8 skill but we have to get a skill set first but i'm finally done with this card and i did go ahead and put him in the lineup and that brings my overall up to 119.2 it was 118.7 beforehand and uh, we obviously got to get a skill set on him because this is what we're working with but um you know what i'm i'm happy i'm happy and that's all that matters so that's going to do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did go ahead and leave a like and subscribe with that said I'll see you guys next time.